What's going on fellow engineers? This particular Saturday project is discussing a patio furniture set that I put together for a customer. I'm gonna do the walkthrough and discuss some of the challenges that were with it as well as the ease of steps and so forth. So without further ado, let's get into it. Thank you for checking out the Almost Engineer channel. If this is your first time to the channel, please be sure to subscribe by clicking the subscribe button down below. So this particular furniture set is a nine piece set. The customer purchased it from Wayfair. As you see, this is one part of that. It is the sectional portion. And if we go over to the other part, we have the two chairs and the end table. And you can kind of also see the coffee table down here in the bottom left. All right. This is how I got everything. It was in six boxes. And each box, as you see, is fairly large. Um, there is one box that is missing from. Oh, no, it's not. It's back here. So one, two, three, four five which is way back here and then six here on the end all right and so i got two of the chairs initially put together um i just followed the instructions that came with the set the instructions if you're not familiar with wayfair furniture the instructions are pretty easy to follow but they do not have words or written steps like you have to be able to look at the diagram, draw the line to which part goes to where. Each part has a letter or uh, number associated with it. Uh, and then so when you're able to look at the picture, you're able to, should be able to put that piece together without the written instructions. This particular furniture set, it did only have like one bolt that applied to everything and one washer that applied to everything so it was fairly easy you didn't have to go through multiple set of different types of screws or anything of that nature like i say one screw one set of washer that applied to everything all right so these are two of the chairs and then i also have one of the sections of the couch that was already completed here and each of the pillows as you can see came in wrapped in plastic these a, this set is designed to be outdoors, so the front, the fabric rather is, uh, I guess, of a outdoor quality, um, like a polyester or something. I didn't get the specifics of which it was made of. And then the actual chairs itself are a weaved uh, fabric, uh, like a nylon plat uh, nylon type fabric or some sort of that nature. All right, here's the next part where I completed the uh, side table. So here's the side table, and then also here's the end of the coffee table over here. Here's a different angle of that coffee table. Also, you have another section of the sectional or the couch part of it. All right, and then this is the final product. I didn't think to take more pictures of it in between the beginning and the end, but I did. Um, the various sections of the couch have these clips that you can't see in this photo, but they actually go on the bottom side that keeps the couch sections together. It's kind of like a C-shaped clamp and it goes, you have to literally climb under the couch and clamp it together and then you can pull it back off you know it's not designed for those one-time use because sometimes when you get these furniture sets they're designed they have like one-time use parts so once you put it together you can't take it back apart uh, but this one is not set up in this particular manner and the customer you know she appreciated it i did look up the retail value of this particular furniture set it was roughly in the 2500 to 3000 dollars range for the entire set not including the assembly i do not recall what the name of the furniture set was but again i mentioned it did come from wayfair uh took about roughly an hour and a half to two hours to complete this entire assembly so that wraps things up for this video. If you have any questions about this particular furniture set, drop those down in the comment section below. If you've learned a little bit, 
please give this video a thumbs up and then also don't forget to subscribe and until the next time peace out